Welcome to the Malix Minute, ladies and gentlemen, starring the Markley Brothers as Malix, Linus, and the Snuffle Fungus. I like the new theme song. I'm dancing, I'm dancing. Linus, what do you think of the new theme song? Eh, it'll do. All right, guys, I'm going to work. Oh, Malix, do you have to? Yes, Snuffy, just like every other day. I say good riddance. Who needs Malix to have fun? Oh, that reminds me. You guys need to get your chores done today. I've got people coming over tonight, so it's very important that the house gets clean. Oh, oh, are these people our friends? Well, you know, I just met them, so they're not friends yet, but I like them very much, so we need to make a good first impression. Whose idea was it to make a good first impression anyway? It just sets the other person up for disappointment for the rest of the relationship. On the other hand, if you make a bad first impression, they can only be pleasantly surprised from then on. Or perhaps they can decide that they don't like you and never see you again. Oh yeah, well that works for me too. Oh shoot, I'm gonna be late. Don't forget guys, I'm counting on you. Snufflefungus, don't let Linus distract you. Bye, guys. Finally, he's gone. Let's watch TV. Linus! Malix is counting on us. Didn't you just hear him? Are you sure you heard him right? Yes. Okay, different tactic. Let's watch TV. That's not different. You're trying to distract me, aren't you? Not at all. I guess I just misunderstood. While we sort this out, why don't we watch some TV? No. Play some chess? No. Go to the mall? No. Oh, come on. Linus, if you want to waste time, feel free. But I'm not going to join you. But then I'll feel all guilty and stuff. Exactly. Now come help me set up the vacuum. Fine. Stinking so-and-so Malix wants us to work. Great. We'll be done in no time. Well, no time just passed, so you lied. No, some time passed. Just not enough time. We'll be done in no time, you'll see. Now what? You vacuum the floors, and I'll clean the windows. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Linus, uh, how do I clean the windows? Oh, well, not with that. You gotta clean them with, uh, Wonderflonium. Wonderflonium? What's that? Yeah, it's, um, um... Uh... It's Malix's favorite window cleaner. It's the only kind he uses. But I've never seen him use it. You know, it's a new thing. He he just got attached to it, like, uh, last week. So where does he keep it? Um, under the sink in the bathroom. Okay, I'll go get it. Don't, don't bother. We're, uh, we're out. Huh? Then how are we supposed to clean the windows? There's nothing for it. We'll have to go out and get some. Hey, you're not trying to distract me again, are you? Who, me? I wouldn't dare. So where do we get this Wonderflonium? It's a bit of a walk. Oh, see that pest control shop? Yeah? They make their money going around town rounding up the rats, mice, and bugs that plague the city. Right. But what people don't know is that underneath their shop they have hundreds of tunnels that they use to let all the pests right back into people's basements. <gasps> oh no, poor pests! Oh, look! It's the demon barber of Fleet Street! Oh, no! Wait, isn't he fictional? Yeah, but do you know what isn't fictional? They reuse old barber's razors to make barbed wire, hence the name. I never knew that! And that's why you never want to get cut with barbed wire. You'll get an infection from all the old shaving cream and hair particles. Ew! See that telephone pole? It's so tall! And it just keeps getting taller. In fact, every couple of years, the telephone company has to come by and trim a couple feet off the top. Wow, that's crazy! Then they use the extra to plant new baby telephone poles. But Linus, why haven't I ever seen any baby telephone poles around? Silly Snuffy, what do you think mailboxes are perched on? Oh, that makes perfect sense. See, Uncle Linus has all the answers. Oh, Linus, look in there! Dolls! Oh, Snuffy, you don't want to play with those dolls. Why? Those dolls used to be inmates at the state penitentiary. They just never made parole, and so the state shrunk them down and turned them into playthings for unwitting children. The world is so full of surprises if you only know where to look. I know. I've been trying to tell Malix for years, but he's too bitter and soulless to understand. Say, Linus, where is that Wonderfulium store? We've been walking a long time. Oh, I know. And we're starting to get into the 
<laughs> Bad end of town. There's only one place in the world to buy Wonderflonium window cleaner. Oh, look, train tracks. Whee! I love trains. Let's walk along the tracks for a bit. Say, Linus, you're not trying to distract me again, are you? We need to get that Wonderflonium and get back home so we can clean. What? You don't think I'm taking you to get Wonderflonium? No, it's not that. You think I'm just yanking your chain and goofing off? Well, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Well, I never. Good sir, you've cut me to the quick. But Linus, there are no stores around here. Is that what you think? Look again. What? Well, Right there. See? Under the train platform. Boo! Ah! Petey little eyes! Petey little eyes! Are you here to buy something? Yes. We need some- Can I interest you in this dead rat? I don't think so. Are you sure? It's got an excellent coat of fur, very multi-purpose. And if you shake it like this, it almost looks alive. We just need some Wonderflonium window cleaner. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Five dollars, please. Hey, guys, I'm back. Wow, this place looks great. We worked so hard. It looks like it, too. Hey, it even looks like you cleaned the windows. We sure did. Did you use that new stuff, that, uh, that Wonderflonium? Yeah, we were out of it here at the house, so Snuffy and I had to run out and get some. All the way out there by the train tracks? That's awesome. You guys are my heroes. Yay! Today's episode is copyright 2008 by Alex Markley. This was a production of the Malix Media Network. Please visit us online at malixminute.com for production credits, extras, and a complete archive of classic episodes. God bless and have a great day! If you remember only one thing I've taught you, remember this. Every single number is a round number. It just depends on the base you're using.